feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. We've got the can wall going all the way around. We started uh, carving the top. See, it's going pretty good. Threw a bunch of empty bottles in there. They know I didn't drink them all. The local restaurant saves me all their bottles and cans, so I have an endless supply. Alright, time for more progress. I'll let you see you later. Alright, guys. Finally got it filled up. Started carving across the top the other night. Let's see, I burn it every, uh, every night that it's in the 30s, so pretty much been every night here lately. You kind of get the idea. See where I started covering up the cans in that corner, and a friend had an idea to put cans touching the pipe. And the cans, maybe to just disperse the heat out more. So it was a little at the end, so I only got to do a short distance. We'll see how it works. Maybe it's a good idea. We'll find out. Okay, I finally got the bench completely covered up. I got a little more leveling to do, but. It's looking good and I started covering up the cans. I need a little more on there. I want to go up there, but uh, the wife gave me a good point about I was going to put a back on this and have it go up to that board line. She said, if we ever had to have some people stay with us, you know, an emergency happen, they would make a perfect little nice toasty warm bed with a few cushions on there so I'm agreeing with her and I say that bed would sleep a lot I wanted to give you a little bit of a look of uh, how I figured out the best way to burn these are and this is about the perfect fire first thing I do is I, I put a piece of wood in there about that big into the back of the burn chamber and I fill up that, not blocking off all the air, but just putting so that it'll burn across and have a lot of coals in there. And then I start burning my sticks uh, like this, you know, straight up and down. And that is about the perfect fire right there. It's uh, really hot. I know y'all can't really see. I get as close as I can, but just quiet there for a second so you can see how it sounds, the rocket sounds. I'm going to move over here. Try to show you the whole bench is steaming right now. I put some fresh cob on it and as you see earlier in the video but it's all warming up and it's just sitting here steaming, drying out. Just getting nice and warm. So that's how I burn these fires. Later. This is the little rocket mass that I've been talking about. It's the burn chamber, and we're going to try a 25 gallon or a 30 gallon drum on top of this to fit there. But you can see we're trying to get our 12 feet of extended pipe, and we're going up. You can see this is a small greenhouse, and this one is specifically for people like J.T. Bear, who has a small greenhouse, and in this way, be very little fuel, and you could heat it very easily. This is a little bit bigger greenhouse, but it's a little bit underground, so has some geothermic happening. See there are burn chamber. It's already been using it. it goes out and this would be a single bench. 
and then go straight out. It has excellent draft and it really burns. Give a little tour of this greenhouse. This is the second rocket mass on his property. Let me turn around. For his greenhouses. I like this greenhouse. It's, it stays at pretty much constant temperature. This is the third one. It is almost complete. Goes down in a single run. Real close to aquaponics. And this one actually goes down in the ground. What do you need? Trying to figure out what I've done. Goes up and outside. Live in the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace for you Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready, sir. 